his videos to pretty much everyone that watches my channel. Uh, I think that I've kind of got a bit soft recently in my videos compared to what I used to be like. I used to like the aggressive style of just slapping you in the face and just making you realise that, look, if you don't buckle down now and sort out your life, this could, could keep continuing, yeah? And I get so many messages now of people that they're like, I sleep 8 hours, even though I go to bed at 1am, it's still 8 hours, and it doesn't matter as long as I'm sleeping. Right, you need a smack in the face. Listen to Sean Stevenson. When you go to sleep, it's more important how long you're sleeping. You need to get a routine and stick to it, yeah? You can't mess around. Also, with technology, you know, people uh, that message me, they say that they, they're bored, so they're using their phones all the time. Social media, looking at news. That's, that's awful for recovery. You're engaged constantly, looking at the screen. And, you know, I've noticed um, when I was recovering, I didn't own a phone. And I'm absolutely glad that I didn't because now I'm, I'm, I can notice that I'm addicted to it. And I can tell that it's not doing me any good. It's draining. Looking at the news, the social media, I'm actually planning to get rid of it. Um, so if you're recovering, I actually would say lock your phone away, get rid of it, focus on other things, if you want to read things, read books, if you want to listen to things, listen to audiobooks, you know, stop uh, being so engaged in social media and everything, you don't have that energy to waste, you know, if you see the news and you see the Manchester thing and kids dying, do you need that stress on your plate when you're dealing with chronic fatigue and ME and chronic illness? You have enough shit to deal with as well. And you have all the pressures of life. And, you know, I was talking to a guy. He went through a divorce. Uh, he is chronically ill. He doesn't know what to do. He, he's just completely fried. Yeah, he's, he's just had a lot of shit on his plate to deal with. And when you're in that situation and you're chronically ill and you're having all these problems and you're looking at the news for more bad news... All you're doing is creating the situation for yourself to just stay stagnant and not move at all. So you have to take things seriously. People don't take it serious enough. Maybe I'm not being serious enough with you. Maybe I'm being like, you know, I've started to bend my rules a bit. Like if someone says, oh, I don't want to do that. Or I'm like, well, just focus on getting your diet down and, you know, do what you can. You know, because I, I, I feel like I have got a bit soft, but maybe... I've, I've turned into someone that's trying to be your friend rather than trying to sort you out. I want to be that voice of reason again. I'm trying to get you to snap out of it, snap out of it, snap out of it, stop being a victim, stop faffing around and taking bits here and there and not really truly dedicating yourself to recovery. But at the end of the day as well, I have to realise is that if you had told me, if, if you had told me this, what, seven years ago, you know, when I was chronically ill, I, I would have been the same, you know, you have to hit that point where you literally would rather die than live another year like you're living. So, if you're not at that point then, then there's not much I can do, but I'm just trying to make you not waste any more time. Please just focus your life on recovery. Focus, make it your job to recover, you know. You're going to be very bored. People say that to me all the time. They're like, but what do you do when you give those things up? What do you do when you give up your phone and everything? What is it you do? You see, we're very spoiled. We're very spoiled because imagine if you had a chronic illness uh, 200 years ago. What would they have done? You know, they would have had to accept being bored. You know, what does a dog do when it's tired? It's, it sleeps all the time. It rests. It's not engaged in anything. What did human beings do when they were ill or uh, had an illness or something? They rested. And we can't do that anymore. We're just so addicted to these this technology and everything that keeps us engaged is something to do. Yeah, I can't blame you. I did it myself. I was addicted. But if you want things to change, you kind of have to give that up. And it is boring. But what's worse, being bored for a year and then recovering or having your instant gratification and being ill for the foreseeable future? Uh, there's not much else I can say, you know. Just... Think about what you want a year from now and work towards it. And don't be honest with yourself. Don't go, I'm doing the best I can, whatever. You know, be honest with yourself. Um, yeah, just if you're someone that's, 
you know, I'll say this again, sleep is the ultimate king when it comes to recovery and the feel your best. It really is. It really is. You know, I can feel the difference now when I go to bed late and my sleep pattern's different every day. You know, it's, uh, obviously, I still go out and do my exercise and run and everything, but I feel noticeably worse if I mess up on my sleep than my diet or something like that, you know. So, guys, take it seriously. Just for your sake, like, I'm just trying to hammer it into you. Don't wait any more time, especially if you're, like, you've been having this for year after year, you know. Do you really want to spend another year, another two years like this? Probably not. So, just get serious about it. Make it your full-time job to recover. And the last bit of advice is to throw away your phone whilst you're recovering. Uh... Yeah, so thanks for watching, guys. Let me know if you like this video, kind of video, or you hate it, or whatever. Just let me know. Thanks.